Chemistry doesn't work in isolation, and as chemists we know that better than anyone else. Collaboration is also a key catalyst for success in chemistry. So that's why here at QUT, we take a combined international and interdisciplinary approach to our fundamental and applied chemistry research. We're focused on both creating new knowledge and new molecules, and translating these creations from concept to commercial application, from research to the real world. The home of chemistry at QUT is the School of Chemistry, Physics and Mechanical Engineering. This unique mix of research themes allows our chemists to work side by side with physicists, biologists, engineers and with our industry partners to solve diverse and complex real world problems across a wide range of areas of chemistry. Computational chemistry to the synthesis of new molecules and materials, the development of new synthetic approaches and pioneering new analytical techniques. Materials and methods we create find applications across all of our research groupings in the school and beyond, from new polymers applied in biomedical engineering, modelling the mechanical properties of new nanomaterials by our mechanical engineers, applying advanced analytical techniques to critical environmental problems, and underpinning advances in renewable energy technologies and energy storage. QUT's Vice-Chancellor and President, Professor Margaret Scheel, was one of Australia's most prolific chemistry researchers and Australia's first female full professor in chemistry. QUT has a proud history in chemistry, but over the last decade we've seen a Laureate Fellow, seven Future Fellows and a range of early career researchers join the school. It's been wonderful to see the impact of, of their work as they've uh, produced high quality publications and real world outcomes. The nature of our research is such that we do a lot of field measurements. My name is Branka Miljevic and I'm atmospheric scientist at QUT. Highlight of our recent research was definitely um, examining atmosphere along Great Barrier Reef, which was on board the Australian Research Vessel Investigator. That was QUT-led international study, for the first time investigating the roles that corals play in formation of those cloud seeding particles. And the whole study stemmed from the fact that corals can actually emit a compound called dimethyl sulfide. And that compound, when it rises in the atmosphere, it oxidizes under the influence of sunlight and atmospheric oxidants and can lead to formation of those cloud seeding particles. And then the question was, if corals play a significant role in formation of particles that are necessary for clouds, then what's going to happen with weather pattern in that area if reef dies off. Our research into photochemical processes is really all about the idea of using light to start and stop chemical reactions, specifically those reactions that normally occur thermally. My name is Christopher barnack wolik and I'm a Laureate Fellow at QUT. I'm a photochemist and I run the Soft Matter Materials Laboratory. Being able to control chemical reactions with different colors of light is critical for applications such as 3D printing. Many 3D printers operate with light. Our speciality in 3D printing is printing very, very small objects. Objects that are just a few micrometers or even just a few nanometers in size. And to reach these small sizes, we need to be able to specifically start and stop chemical reactions with light. That has the potential to affect entire industries, for example, optoelectronics and chip manufacturing. If you were able to print conductive structures on the nanoscale, you could imagine that quite more economically than today, you could simply print circuitry onto computer chips. Research at the Soft Matter Materials Laboratory spans two continents. We have one research hub here at QUT and another research hub in Germany at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. In addition, we have a wide network of international collaborations spanning from physics all the way to biology and physical chemistry. Energy generation and storage is one of the most complex problems which is impacting on sustainability and communities globally. That's why we have combined multiple teams of interdisciplinary researchers to drive real change in this field. Our research on sustainable energy systems ranges from fundamental materials research for new photovoltaic cells and energy storage materials, through to the fabrication of solar cells, supercapacitors and battery, and how to use these in our energy system. For example, Associate Professor Prashant Sonar and his team have developed a new material to produce printable perovskite solar cells that are highly efficient, stable, 
flexible and about five times cheaper than what is currently used for perovskite solar cell. Based on the orange dye anthrona, the material could ultimately be manufactured as blinds, shade sails and even clothing. Our team studying perovskite solar cells led by Associate Professor Hongxia Wang and Professor Adrian Du are also using cutting edge computational chemistry to demonstrate the control of moisture induced degradation of perovskite materials in solar cells using graphene coating. A critical part of our real world approach to research is our ability to demonstrate developments not just at laboratory scale, but at a pilot scale to show that our innovations can move beyond the laboratory. In the area of battery devices, we work on new formulations of cathode materials for lithium ion batteries. We've built our own pilot plant for the fabrication of industry standard 18650 lithium ion battery cell. Our work goes beyond the synthesis of new materials. We're developing cutting edge approaches to the fabrication and characterization of new materials using advanced nanotechnology techniques developing new surface science approaches to growing ordered electronic materials on surfaces to increase performance and better understand their A vibrant research ecosystem has a range of skills from the theory through to the practical and we've got all of that together here in chemistry at QUT.